Well, good morning, good afternoon, and of course, good evening, traders, and welcome to my 2745th edition of Short Term Trading Live with Oscar Carboni. Thank you so much for tuning in. We love you guys. We really appreciate this. Please make sure you hit the like buttons if you like these videos. Hit the like button, share this video, let people know we're out there. So, for trading on Tuesday, May 7th, 2024, you're looking at the E-mini S&P chart, but remember that trading is risky. Crypto, options, futures, metals, I don't care what you trade. If you trade it, it's risky. Stocks, put your stops in, S-T-O-P-S. Put them in, put them in first before you ever enter into a position. You'll live a lot longer in this business if you heed my advice on that. So, for trading on Tuesday, the E-mini S&P, Looking back at this chart, the Omni has just been out of control stellar with its calls since the 1st of May when S&P put in its all-time high ever at 53.33 and a half. Literally the next day we put out a video that said, hey, the Omni's gone bearish, whatever, whatever. We don't care what the reasons are. We have bearish conditions ensuing. And from that day forward, the market literally just started to fall apart and right down here we put out a video that said okay it looks like the market has gained its legs omni flipped again and then right here the omni flips goes back to red the market breaks the omni flips back to green the market rallies the omni's been phenomenal for this month right well the omni is waving us off now it's still green it didn't flip to red for trading on five on five seven but it's waving me off, so to speak. The usual setups I would use to get into this trade, I'm not allowed to use, so it's asking me to sort of sideline myself. Now, I do believe every now and then in a trade called an Oscarism trade, so we might muscle ourselves into a buy. We'll see what happens uh, into a long position as the day goes. But as it starts off right now, Omni wants us to sit back and wait a little bit, so we'll do just that for now and we'll see where it goes. But Omni's been stellar, so be ready for the signals as they come out. But there are other markets that kind of look pretty cool to look at as well. Here's one, gold. Now, I think this is building a bull flag. I think, I mean, it kind of looks like one, right? It's got a flag pole, and then it's got this movement here, consolidation. It's holding above this average. All right, so that looks okay, but it's a bit confusing to the naked eye, I would think. And I think we got to delve in a little deeper, which we're going to do right now. Oh, by the way, traders, I've got an Omni Camp coming up in Naples, Florida. This is going to be held in Naples, Florida. And I will be there in person. If you want, if you are in Florida and want to come to a, an Omni Camp with me, Friday, Saturday, well, actually, this is a Saturday, Sunday, and a Monday. I will be teaching in Naples. Go to www.omnibootcamp.com. It looks like this. Omnibootcamp.com. You can a quick video of me if you want to see what's going on. But you can just click here and start your application. Boom. You know, right there, you can just start it, click, 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 pick a time to speak to me, and then I can speak to you about coming out to OmniCamp. Quick application, really doesn't take much, but OmniCamp is happening very soon. It is June 1st through June 3rd. This is May 6th. I've got to get to Florida and make this happen. If you'd like to join me, even if you're in Florida or you want to go to Florida and join me there, you've got to contact me right away. Go to omnibootcamp.com, fill out that application, or simply call me, 702-629-4755. It's urgent, kids, time's ticking. If you wait too long, I will not be able to accept your applications because this is in Florida, I'm on the road, and it's June 1st through June 3rd. Go to Omni Boot Camp or call me, 702-629-4755. On with the show. So what else do we have going on? With, I think we're building a flag, but it's a little hard to say in June Gold because it's not fully formed and it's a little bit crooked, so to speak, right? So let's go delve a little deeper. Let's look at this in a different fashion. How about we go to the weekly? What do we see on the weekly? The weekly, 
we've got a very different look than that daily, and let me show you what it really is. What's happened on the weekly chart is it spent a lot of time doing this sideways consolidation phase, up and down, but never really going too far. And then it went into a launching pad mode, if you will. It got a little smaller, but see how the trajectory lines are now a little higher? These were flat. Well, look what happens next. It starts to really go. It goes from the launching pad into upward trajectory, and look at it go. So this is your weekly. This is you know this is no small time chart. This is showing us that Wall Street's got it on the run, and they're sort of liking it. Now what happens since it started to run up? It would run up, consolidate. All right, a little consolidation. Runs back up. Consolidate, all right, another consolidation. So it should end up moving higher because that's the trajectory that seems that is going on right now. That's the geometry we've got in place and that's what Wall Street is looking at. And I think they have it on the run and they like when they have markets on the run. So that's what I'm looking for in gold. You can be a buyer of dips, but you gotta be careful how you do that and where your stops go. We're not reckless, we don't just jump into markets. But I think you could be a buyer of dips in gold for trading on Tuesday. I certainly am going to give that a whirl if we get a good fill. But remember, it sort of played itself out for us. It showed us the sideways consolidation, right, in here. Then it showed us the launching pad. And then the upward trajectory is what we're living in now. So I don't know, you gotta like that unless it turns around or something dramatic happens. So we will be looking to buy the dips if we could get some kind of a fill trading in gold traders please like and share these videos like to hit the like button right now now what do you think about gold do you think i'm wrong we go back to the daily do you think that that weekly's wrong and this is actually more of a bear flag looking thing let's call this the flagpole and is what well, we'll make it the right color you know we'll, we'll help you guys out so that you can visualize with me is this what's going on there instead um i believe the easiest way to do that is to pull this up to the bottom drop this down are we getting something like this is that what's going on here is it this mm, a little confusing right or is it what we thought it was to begin with, which was this? So I'll ask you, is it a bull flag or was it that bear flag that I just showed you? What do you think? Are we in a bull flag or some weird, some weird, weirdly formed Oscarism known as the F flag? So is it this? And really we could clean that up a little bit so you get a better look. So let's pull this here, pull this here, tighten it up a little bit. There you go. Now we got something to look at, maybe a little bit longer. There. Is it this? Or is it the bull flag? So I will ask you to comment below. A, if you think it's the bull flag. And well, let's do that in caps. A, if you think it's the bull flag, and go with B, if you think it's the bear flag. What do you think we are getting, bull flag or bear flag? If you don't mind, comment below. We'll see what you guys think. We'll test your analysis skills. We'll also find out ourselves when this is over what it is, right? and we'll put that skill to work. So let's see how many of you get it right, get it wrong, have an opinion about this. Please answer below, answer right now. One, two, three, I'll wait for you. Bull flag A, bear flag B. All right, so we will find out shortly. Remember you're voting to see whether it was this crazy formation, which is only possible because it hasn't formed yet. So we don't know for sure about any of this. But are we looking at bull flag, traditional, or are we looking at some sort of a bear flag, more like an Oscarism style bear flag 
based on this. Which of the two do you think we're in? And we'll find out. The market will tell us. Bull flag or bear flag, please make sure you show me your skill levels below and we'll tally them up and talk about it in our next video or a couple of days from now, depending on how long this takes to make up its mind. So again, traders, Omni Bootcamp, you know where to go. You want to join me? I will be in Florida. Come to livewithoscar.com on any given day and you can be in my live trading room where generally my camera is on. It's not on at the moment because I'm using it to do this video, but you can join me here. Just go to livewithoscar.com. No credit cards are required. Hang out with me. We'll have, you know, we spend our lives together. We spend every one of these days in the markets getting through this rough and tumble environment that we're thrown into. So I'd appreciate if you want to hang out there. Make sure you've answered the questions. Please like and share these videos. And then let's go back to the weekly. And don't forget what this look looked like as well in your gold. All right, traders, that's about it for now. Please make sure that you do this. Keep your emotions out of trading. How do we do that? Well, we like and share Oscar's videos. That'll make you feel better. Then after that, say this to yourselves over and over again. Are you with me? One, two, three. Stop so. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you all at livewithoscar.com.